Hello, welcome to my political news opinion review of major news from July of 2020. This series is where I provide um, some opinion and coverage of major news stories from the previous month. This is done to provide the people with a method to hold myself accountable as I act in the capacity of a politician. This is essential, as the people need to know my reactions to what is occurring around us, and to ensure that everybody is able to keep track of current events. In this video, I will talk about the following news stories. Illegitimate Governor of Georgia Brian Kemp's crusade to kill his constituents, the death of civil rights leader and congressman John Lewis, um, federal executions resuming, Kanye West's politics and mental health, unmarked federal arrests in Portland and other cities, the potential ban of TikTok, and antitrust slash anti-monopoly laws. Brian Kemp, the individual who stole the Georgia governor's election from Stacey Abrams and is now an illegitimate governor, has politicized the COVID-19 pandemic. Kemp is actively fighting against personal protective equipment, social distancing, and other measures which would help prevent the spread of disease. Recently, Kemp has threatened cities not to mandate mask wearing in an attempt to please voters, but at the same time allow them to die. Kemp is a dangerous man who cheated his way into the governor's mansion and is actively preventing measures to protect his constituents. Unfortunately, Georgia's governor elections occur in midterm years, meaning that Mr. Kemp will not be removed from his illegitimate political position until at least 2022. COVID-19 continues to be an issue in the United States, with a new potential stimulus bill being debated by Congress. John Lewis, a congressman and civil rights leader from Georgia, who had walked with Martin Luther King Jr. and was a living legend for many decades, unfortunately passed away in July. John Lewis was battling pancreatic cancer when he passed away. Iconically leading in the marches from Selma to Montgomery across the Edmund Pettus Bridge, named after a leader of the Ku Klux Klan, on which he, along with many others, were beaten by police. He served as chairman of SNCC, for three years in the 60s as part of the civil rights uh, as part of civil rights leadership and the Edmund Pettus Bridge remains that bridge's name we should honor Lewis by changing the name to the John Lewis Bridge federal executions have resumed for this item, I will read the social media post I made about this. To give context, the post included a screenshot of a news story announcing the first federal execution in 17 years of a man found guilty of mur murder and reported to be a white supremacist. Quote, Upon learning of this execution, I prayed that no more innocent or guilty people would die this way, that this man would receive fairer judgment in the afterlife. And I cried. White supremacy is horrible, 
murder is horrible. And the death penalty is worse. I would never sign an execution and would abolish the death penalty. Hashtag no executions. Hashtag no death penalty. Hashtag the guilty have rights. Hashtag the innocent have rights. Hashtag abolish the death penalty. Hashtag abolish executions. End quote. There have been more people who have been subject to the death penalty since then, and we need to stop. Kanye West is a famous rapper who appears to have various mental health issues. Recently, Mr. West made an announcement that he would be running for president in either 2020 or 2024 as a member of the, quote, birthday party, end quote, with policies that are odd and, frankly, would be worse than those of the Trump administration. The media proceeded to provide him with coverage despite it being near impossible to file the paperwork in time for the 2020 election. And Mr. West, having already announced his 2024 intentions previously. As part of this, many people said that Kanye was a method to help elect one or the other of the major candidates. The idea that Mr. West would take progressives making Biden lose is absurd if you paid attention to his policy and support of Donald Trump over the past few years. What would be more likely is apathetic young voters and would-be Trump supporters would vote for Kanye West, therefore further expanding the lead that Biden currently holds. Various individuals have been arrested by federal officials beginning in Portland, Oregon. The arrests were made in ways to intimidate peaceful protesters in Portland. These people were taken into unmarked vans, many while surrounded by protesters. The people arrested are being charged with various things. These are tactics used in authoritarian countries to intimidate citizens into apathy and villainize protest movements. For those who don't seem to understand this, let's make things clear. If someone participates in these movements, yet are a black supremacist, or use violent means, then that person is not a member of the movement, but rather using the movement to further their cause. Please note that black supremacy is far, far rarer than white supremacy as movements have promoted equality, not revenge. Just because all pro-white protests are anti-black does not mean that all pro-black protests are anti-white. Donald Trump is a narcissist who expected and still wants to rule the United States in an authoritarian manner. Wit much like he did with The Apprentice and his businesses. White supremacists and anarchists have always used protests as cover to incite violence, which is why police in Minneapolis have, I have identified the individual that incited violence and encouraged looting that led to the first fires and looting was a white supremacist. His actions were the thing that led to the chain reaction of riots and looting in the United States. Following the trolling of the Trump campaign by teenagers on TikTok and the ban of TikTok by the Indian government, President Trump proposed banning TikTok 
due to, quote, national security concerns, end quote. TikTok is owned by a Chinese company, and so the Indian government banned it along with various other Chinese apps. While I do not fully know the reasoning behind India's ban, it probably has something to do with the fact that India's leader is a Hindu nationalist, and India and China compete for control over the region. Trump in attempted to use Chinese control and data collection, parenthetically, that all social media collect, and parenthetical, as a reason to ban the application. Considering that TikTok is a separate entity and that all social media companies collect this type of data with no evidence that TikTok's a parent company used this information for any reason. President Trump was simply being salty about being trolled by the users of the app. Please note, I have never used TikTok. In July, various companies went before Congress for antitrust investigations. Again, this is a topic I posted about. Quote, various companies, including many tech and re many tech companies and retailers, need to be broken up to ensure more competitive markets, even under the current laws. However, as a way to strengthen these laws enacted by the original progressives, we need a few modern updates to them. Other laws would be an increase in enforcement. Hold up. Such laws could be to establish an explicit maximum of market share and or explicit market cap. Other laws would be to increase the enforcement of current antitrust laws, such that presidential administrations have less influence. Microsoft would have been broken up if not for administration change from the Clinton administration into the Bush administration. And businesses and um, also restrict um, the loopholes which, which businesses who can afford the best lawyers in the world have. Please like this video, share it with friends and family, Subscribe to my YouTube channel, making sure to hit the bell icon. Please also check out my Instagram, at lopez 4 Twitter, at lopez 4 Snapchat, at lopez 4 wv and Facebook, facebook.com slash colby.lopez.12, which all should be linked in the description. Please stay safe, wash your hands, understand that we must still social distance, and de-stress. I am Colby Lopez and I approve this message.